hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're still in the holiday swing of things so today I thought that I would go ahead and use I picked up two of the Fenty Beauty snap shadows and I only got two because I bought two <laughs> and I thought that I would go ahead and show them to you I what number is this oh uh, it's three and six three and six so they are the deep neutrals I'm trying to get it open the deep neutrals and come on out of here the smoky so I don't know which one I'm going to do yet but I just thought that I would just go ahead and record myself using them and trying to come up with a look so they look they're kind of small in comparison I don't have they're kind of small in comparison to some of the um, other like mini palettes that I've seen. Um, I'll go ahead and open them up. I love also that they have mirrors on them. Say hi to yourself. But oh, let's see if I can hold these up the other way. They do have mirrors on them, so that's amazing. Um, but yeah, look at that. Very very pretty um, they both have some shimmer shimmers in if you can see that shimmers in them um, again this one is the smoky one um, this is smoky and this is deep neutral so six and three so yeah I will be working out of these today and I'm also just gonna probably fast forward through a lot of it um, me personally when I'm looking at YouTube videos I always like to watch the foundation portion of it because I'm a foundation junkie so I always like to watch that so I'm still gonna go ahead and do my foundation but I will just be speeding through it um, and I'm going to try to use as many of the fancy items as I can Why not? I'll try anyway. Um, they're supposed to stick together. Oh. And puzzles are not my thing. This way? Okay. That's kind of neat. Especially if you're going to be taking it up, you know, packing it up. And it's so small, like, it's perfect. I don't know the ounces and all that. I don't think anybody really cares. Um, but I did get these, to, well, yesterday. Um, they were two for 45, so. And I don't know how much they cost individually. I just saw two for 45 and it was so I picked it up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and speed through and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, I just thought I would just go ahead and do a little bit of a voiceover to explain kind of why I like these products. So I did not swatch these on my hand because I just wanted to just go right into using them. But what I did notice is that some of the shadows were a little creamier than others um, obviously the um, like the satin finishes and the glitters that had a different um, different different feel um, but then some of the matte shadows like some of them felt really creamy and then some of them felt a little chalky so even though like the black for instance um, the black felt a little chalky but it was just like jet black it performed really well just the texture of it was different so it didn't apply any differently it just felt differently or it just felt different on my hand so um, I thought I would point that out so it's different um, different formulations in there so but overall yeah I think these are so cute I love that there's an array of colors that you can use yeah that black there I love that there's an array of colors that you can use and um, that's why I just kind of looked twice like, man, this is like really, really black. And they definitely blended out just fine. I had no problems with these whatsoever. I mean, every time Rihanna does something, she does it. I mean, they're small, they're compact. I love that they kind of click together so you can kind of carry them together if you want to, you know, take more than one with you. Just the overall packaging, she just always blows her packaging out of the park this girl she got it going on that's why i try to really support um support her brand whenever she's coming out so yeah 
um, here I am just blending up I know I told you guys in my last video that that brush that with that orange handle is from BH Cosmetics and it's one of my favorite brushes so you'll see it a lot now that I found it so I'm adding this purple over uh, and it is a shimmer um, adding that over the black and the reason why I'm doing that is because it just kind of makes that purple pop even more it just intensifies that color so if you're trying to intensify a color you can layer it over black and if you're trying to make that color brighter then you would layer it over something like white so it does make a difference so here this color here oh my gosh it's so pretty but it did have a uh, purple reflex in it which is why I decided to add it over this purple color too you can't really tell in person or not in person you can't tell on camera but it was very shimmery it was just so pretty and I hate that the camera really did not pick it up and it definitely did not do it like any justice at all I just uh, it's just so pretty yeah but when you just drag that on your hand just if you're swatching it you can see like all the purple that's in that but it looks more black but yep definitely um, purple undertones in there here I'm just blending up because sometimes I have a habit if I'm not paying attention I won't blend all the way up to my socket um, and then it'll be like gaps of holes not holes but just spaces missing where a shadow should be so again I thought I'd go ahead and use the rest of the Fenty items as many as I could that I can remember and here I'm just using that Pro Matte Filter uh, Primer and um, what was that? Oh yeah, the cover X, the cover F. I'm so tongue tied today. The cover FX um, Blurring Primer. I did use this last one. Those are the two Fenty uh, foundations, one in 420 and one in 445, I believe. The uh, hydrating formula is in 445. It's a little too red, so the next time I mix these, I'll use more of the 420 to kind of balance that red out. But adding these two together, I really like the texture that it gave me or the finish that it gave me. Um, it just wasn't, it was just perfect. It was like a satin matte finish. That's the finish that it gave me when it was all said and done. So yeah. Actually work, I usually um go for a mat but i don't know it's winter time so i wanted to add a little bit more hydration to my skin i've just hit the big four four so yeah my skin is just like work with me not against me so that's what i'm trying to do here so that is the Too Faced born this way um sculpting concealer and i believe that's in chestnut and i'm going to go ahead because i wanted wanted it to be a little bit more brighter and so I just grabbed my ColourPop um, concealer and I think that's dark 42 and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that up. You know ColourPop is one of my favorites because it just blends so seamlessly. I, I really really like this concealer. It's perfect. You'll see here that I'm going to start um, contouring and I was so happy because I found my Huda Beauty, um, that brush there. Oh my God. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but I didn't even care because I'm like, oh, that's why I was smiling. Like this makes my job so much easier. It just, ugh. if you have not, if you have not purchased this brush, I mean, it's a bit pricey, but ugh, it's one of the best brush products that I have purchased for 2019 like hands down best thing ever for me because I'm just I'm not the best with doing contour on myself I always mess it up but this one just takes the I don't know I don't know if it's the way it's angled or what that is Fenty Hazelnut I'm trying to press that in rather than baking with it and I do like the finish that it gave me. I'm going to let this music play a little bit and then I'll pop back in later.
So here I am using the Fenty uh, bronzer in Mocha Mommy. Again, I love this. It helps to add the color back into my face, especially if I use like too much um, powder that's too light. It really helps to tone it down and, you know, just warm up my skin tone. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil. I thought that I would do a more flesh colored tone on my uh, waterline because I wanted it the final look to be sultry but I also wanted it to look kind of fresh at the same time so yeah I thought I would use that and here I'm just going to take that smoky palette and just smoke out my lower lash line So here, that thing right there is called a color switch, and I got that from Sephora. Um, I believe Fenty's actually making one too. It's probably on our website by now. But yeah, if you have a brush, and I really like this brush here, um, that you really can use multiple times, and you just need the switch, you just wipe it on there, and it completely erases the color, and you're ready to go. It's just like using a whole new brush. So yeah, if you guys have not tried that, I would also recommend that. I want to say it's like $11 or something like that. Um, here I am using the Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 1 palette. Love, 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 love this palette for deep skin tones. Like, look how it just warmed up my face. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I always put too much blush on. Blush on. I, I don't know why. I can't control. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I always put too much brush. Brush blush on and I always have to go back and tone it down <laughs> um, just putting some mascara on my lower lash line that is the Too Faced better than sex mascara so again I might have mentioned this in a previous video that I just moved my studio space and so I'm um, stuff got kind of misplaced and it's annoying and blah 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 but yeah um, here, this is the Fenty um, highlighter in Moscow Mule, and one of my favorites. Very soft and pretty, perfect for deep tones. Yeah, I got it like all on my lips. I could have actually just put some uh, lip gloss over it and just been done with it, but you know, I wanted to add a little bit more <laughs> pizzazz to the look. So yeah. Look at me. I thought the purple and the green, you know, I was trying to do a thing, but I think it's our dark cute. Yep, another fancy product. I wanted to showcase that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.